All your mobile phones, computers, laptops, VCRs, stereos, irons. Have you ever wondered where does all your electronic junk goes? Today in this episode of StarTech, I will give you a tour of EnviroServe in the Dubai Industrial City, which is one of the largest e-waste recycling units in the world. What EnviroServe introduced in the UAE uh, is uh, the art of recycling of e-waste. E-waste is one of the in most increasing uh, waste in, in, in the world because of everybody having more electronic devices, more cables, more uh, ele electrical uh, devices as well, equipment. So we assess the needs of recycling of e-waste to, to recycle it fully to up to 98% and create a value out of commodities coming out of e-waste. What kind of technology do you use here for e-waste recycling? Uh, what we use is uh, Swiss and German technology. We are one of the biggest plants in the world. Uh, we have uh, a full automatic cycle of, uh, of, of, of process. The e-waste goes into the plant from the other side of the plant, arrive here segmented in different commodities. So the, the process is very uh, complex, very automatized, go through a computer, go through different processes and technologies. Every part and component of a computer or a phone will be segregated and will be separated from it. So it becomes raw material again. We have some artificial intelligence and optical uh, separation here, which helps us to tell the difference between, let's say, pieces of circuit board mm -hmm. and plastics. So by weight, it's very difficult to tell these apart, but we have a, an optical sorter that will recognize this as a circuit board, and with a little jet stream, shoot that into one bin and let that one fall into another. So again, the name of the game is clean, separated product. This can go to the plastics recyclers, to be turned back into raw materials. And this will go to the refiners to melt off all those little pieces of copper, gold, silver, platinum, and palladium. How far has it grown from uh, being a startup to now, uh, the entire success, if you could tell us? We started off with uh, refrigerant gas recycling, which we still do, but to a much larger scale now. And also when we got into e-waste, we started with one mobile phone. Now we can process thousands of mobile phones per hour. So we've got a massive opportunity ahead of us, plenty of room for growth, and I think if we were to have a 100% recycling rate for all the e-waste in the UAE, we would need four of these facilities just for the UAE. 